in this uh, video segment you are seeing on the left side on the right side the uterus uh, with a single uterus uh, with a single cer uh, cervix cervix measuring 24.8 millimeter into 20.8 millimeters and uh, with uh, normal dimensions and on the uh, on the left side of the screen, you can see that uh, the uterus shows anomal anomaly. In a sense, it's uh, enlarged in width and has two endometrial canals within it. But in longitudinal section section, we see one. Moving further, regarding its steering, now you see that uh, we had studied few anomalies initially. Now in this case, you see that uh, this is uh, this is the uterus we saw in the previous uh, segment that it has one cervix, one vagina, and then two horns, one, two, two horns with normal endometrium. This is the endometrial canal, the central encircled area. So, and this is the uh, outer surface of the uterus, which, which is being indented at the middle, this area. Now, when you see such a picture, with indentation uh, at the you know, region of the endometrial canal, this is the endometrial canal in one horn, this is the endometrial canal in the second horn, and in the center there is a U-shaped or V-shaped indentation of the uh, anterior wall, uh, rather fundal wall, fundal region. So uh, if you see this sort of a situation, this, this will be inconsistent with a bicornuate uterus and the only difference between uh, the uh, bicornuate and uh, subseptate uterus is that in subseptate uterus there will be one cervix, one vagina, two horns. You will see endometrial canal in V shape like this. But the outer surface will be regular straight. There will be no U shape or V shape indentation. In subseptate uterus, in bicornuate uterus, you will see this indentation, this U shape between these two endometrial canals, central region. So, this is in fact a bicornuate uterus. We have studied, uh, rather, I have uploaded the subseptate uh, uterus study. Now, actually, in fact, this patient also had other pathologies. That's why I couldn't hold her much to have a real-time study of this uh, uterus. She had uh, 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 bilateral pleural effusion, etc. Now, see again how a bicornuate uterus will appear as and differentiate differentiating is only with the subsubtate uterus. This is a, an anomaly though, but will be taken as of no significance anti analysis if one horn of the uterus is small. Let's say, now this is the one horn, second, one endometrial canal, second, and uh, if this is hypoplastic, one horn and if pregnancy occurs in this hypoplastic uh, horn in that and there will be a sac in the other so now it, uh, there will be decidual reaction in the other as well then it, this will be considered as an uh, pathology and may create uh, problems during the uh, during the uh, uh, <coughs> pregnancy or, and or delivery of the patient. Otherwise, if this uh, both horns are of equal size as they are, you can see on the measurements over here, 
and there is this is of no significance except recognizing that this is there is a Ukraine anomaly which is consistent with because of the indentation by coronoid uterus uh, and differentiating it with sub subtate uterus uh, in which the outer surface will be regular and smooth and uh, only seeing that either any of the horns is hypoplastic or not. If they, they are not hypoplastic, they are of no concern, they are of no obstetric concern. Thank you.